There's four. Okay, so it's only four on there. That's no, none, none of them had a complaint. Only one, as I'm saying. One complaint. Was it about the waiting list? No. Okay, so that's what I was telling her. What are you saying? All the reviews, like all the reviews are so bad. You know, like I don't know. What? What's your name, man? I'm sorry. Why are you there? Very hard. So I'm not. I'm not going to allow anyone to be, you know, rude to her either. So, 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 but you're gonna let her be rude to the public? I don't think she was rude to the public, sir. You. She asked you what reviews. Exactly. And then when I asked her name, you see her mannerisms with that? You know, That's unprofessional. Well, when I approached you and asked you... If you didn't least it, it's a felony. Just to make sir, sure you guys know. Sir, no one has done anything to you. No, I said the video, man. Well, I didn't accuse anybody she, of doing anything. She does not want to delete the video. She does not care. Oh, no, I'm just making sure she does not delete she does it. does not care. Okay. Well, we're, okay. We're, we're, okay. we're... Obviously so. She's out here with her camera phone. Well, I, on the clock. I, I <laughs> What you mean? I mean, I'm, you, and are you guys called the cops? I have no choice. Sir. Oh, wow. I have no choice. So you guys called someone that can possibly do harm to me for... No one would do harm to you. What? what they Tyrant Terminator! Yo, what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Man, today we at the Housing Authority. Out in Cicero, Illinois. Uh, this is a request. We'll be knocking this list down, TTA family. So basically we're just getting ready to go in here and see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. So let's go see. This young lady needs oh, help, actually. I'm sorry, I thought I was supposed to be like that. Who do I speak with about uh, housing? Over here? So do I need to call or do I need to hear now? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you good. What, so what's this side over here? Housing department. We help homeowners with repairs to their homes. Okay, so you guys have no connection to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? Are you recording? Yeah. Why? Uh, I'm just there. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Huh? Can you help me? No, I didn't really need any help today. Uh, what's your name? Lillian. Lillian? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're, you're like the supervisor here? Or? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. I didn't really need any help right now. If I did, I'll let you guys know, though. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you help me have a nice day? Huh? Can I hope you have a nice day? Oh, I hope to have a nice day as well. Huh? Is there a reason you're recording? Uh, you know, it's always a reason for everything. Of course, there's a reason. Right. It is. Are you a part of our program? Did something happen? I just don't want to answer those questions right now. 
I, you know, I just want to be able to do exactly what I'm doing, and okay, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if somebody did something wrong to you, did somebody do something wrong? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm not really. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not really at liberty, like, you know, to talk about if someone has wronged me. Or, I mean, uh, definitely uh, Cicero Housing Authority has wronged a, a, a multiple of people. I'd like to know who, sir. Uh, several people. Like, um, you know, I've been asked to come here. Okay. Um, if even if you look at... Several people, then, I mean, no one has brought it to my attention. Really? Are you like, let me ask you this. Are you the, this department's... Like, I'm Oh, so you're the director, yes, and no one has brought complaints to you ever. Oh, I've had complaints over time. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I've had, you know, it, it. It's not as though I didn't handle them. Uh, you know, there's nothing further has been stated to me. Of really? Oh wow. Well, I find it very. I can understand where you're coming from, but I find it hard to believe because. Uh, a lot of people are definitely complaining about just the professionalism from the staff here, the personnel, their mannerisms. No, sir, no one has brought that to my attention. So oh, if you're what? telling me that you're aware of someone, then why wouldn't they have come to me? That's why I say, you know, I, I mean, even if you look on, you know, you Google, you guys' Google reviews are pretty, pretty bad as well. So, like, I um, mean, that's on Google, so. Um, you know, sir, there's many accusations. You know, oh, God. It, I mean, there are many requirements to programming that people wouldn't be aware of. And it's not as though they would not have been addressed. Really? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, well... It's, if you're, you're stating that someone... You're stating that someone is not happy, and yet they have not come forward to tell me. They have not brought it to our attention. And believe me, sir, Housing and Urban Development would have contacted me as well. Are you talking about talking about, uh, HUD, right? Yes, HUD. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Um, you know, all of these... So, I don't mind... I mean, I do not mind. If somebody wishes to tell me what happened, mm -hmm. I will address it. Okay. Well... I have no problem with that, sir. It's just the... If it's not brought to my attention, how can I correct it? Right. Well, uh, who's in term, Who's in charge of, like, monitoring you guys as, uh, like, the, the reviews? Do you, do you look at them? You know, sir, I don't look at it. Oh, okay. Because but it's, so is there someone else that does? I decided because the staff and I work, we work very hard to serve the community. So maybe so maybe all those reviews are just, what, the made-up stories? People are not happy with maybe what they're told, maybe how long the, the waiting list is, or, you know, et cetera. I, I can't... I can't explain more than that. I don't know what else to tell Well, you, you shouldn't speculate because you just admitted to not even looking at the review. So you don't know what the complaints are even about. You brought that to my attention. Right. So what I'm, well, what I'm saying, when I asked you about uh, the Google reviews, are they just a bunch of made-up stories? You indicated that maybe they're mad about the waiting list being too long. So you're speculating on what the review um You know, sir, you're correct. That's right. So I don't want you to do that if you haven't looked at it. <laughs> Right, because I don't think any review on there was anything about a waiting list at all. Okay, well, hmm. did you see what I mean? If, if, if somebody's not happy with something, they should bring it to my attention. And they have not. Well, you should, somebody should. There's only four reviews on there, and only one person commented. So I don't see what the situation is. There's four. All the reviews of all that you're talking about. Okay, so it's only four on there? Yes. That's, no, none, none of them had a complaint? Only one, as I'm saying. One complaint. Was it about the waiting list? Okay, so that's what I was telling her. What are you saying? All the reviews, like all the reviews are so bad, you know? Like, I don't know. What, what's your name, man? I'm sorry, why is, is there a problem? I mean, you're engaging in our conversation. You just ended. I'm overhearing you. Okay, so you don't want to give me your name? Yeah, my name is Prisma. Okay, well, be professional, ma'am. See, see, that's probably what they're talking about. You see how she came and real aggressive, and that's no call for that. Now, you said as a director, you will address that. I will. That was very unprofessional. You know, sir, I think that. What I can tell you is that as far as how hard we work and people are, you know, if other people are complaining about the agency and the staff, mm -hmm. they should bring it to my attention. But as of yet, they have not. They have not. Have, no, sir, they have not. I'll be more than happy to address You'll them. be more than happy to address What's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Lillian Gutierrez. Okay, Lillian. Yes, we, I, let's deal with that because you did say that you will address it if it brought to your attention. If it brought to my 
attention. Okay. okay, here it is. You have a young lady standing right next to you that's part of your personnel that's unprofessional and you're not addressing it. No, sir, you stated she's unprofessional. Oh, you don't believe so? She asked you a question. How many of you? So you don't believe her mannerisms even in, by her engaging me the way that she did and didn't want to give up her, her name? Well, you don't believe that's unprofessional? I would give you her name, no problem. Sir. No, I'm saying her. She should give it. She should, she should give it. You know, sir, I... I so it's employment, it's, it's employment privilege then. That's what, that's what we're going over. There's no privilege there. Well, obviously so, because you're trying to protect her. You just said that you would address something. I work very hard. So I'm not, I'm not going to allow anyone to be, you know, rude to her either. So, 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 but you're going to let her be rude to the public. I don't think she was rude to the public, sir. You're, she asked you, what were you? Exactly. And then when I asked her name, you see her mannerisms with that? You know, that's unprofessional. You didn't ask me my name. I asked you, what can I do to help you? What is the situation? And what did I say? You didn't answer me. Yes, I did. I said, I didn't need any help right now. Okay. All right. See what I'm saying, sir? <laughs> if you want assistance, you can, you can, whatever I can do to help you. Okay, but I didn't. Naturally, when you want to walk in here and approach us. That's correct. And film. No problem filming. I don't mind. I'm just saying that. You know, you didn't clarify what you were here for. What is? I, I actually did. I said first, the, my first response was I didn't need any help. Okay. When then my second to... response was I was called here to investigate. Would you like to come in and talk? Is there I'm... a reason? I'll be more than happy to sit and talk with you. I mean, I'm we... offering you. Would you like coffee? You want a drink? You want? I've got water, coffee, cola. If you'd like to sit and talk with me, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Well, I mean, we're talking right now, Lillian. Everything's yeah. great. <laughs> Everything's going to But my my me, huh? Name? My name is James. James, and your last name, sir? Well, I don't want to give that, you know. Well, see, I mean, I gave you mine. Well, you work for the public, so you, of course you have to. I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying it's a requirement. Okay. My, uh, uh, my thing was this, Lily. I, when you came off, you seemed pretty forthcoming about it. You know, if someone did bring something to your attention, you would address it Absolutely. by being the director. Absolutely. I find it hard to believe, respectfully, just because a young lady just kind of acted out right in front of you and you're upholding it. You're standing behind that. The girls, the girls work hard, and people, you know, we, as, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. when people are not happy, mm -hmm. they take things out on them. Wherever we go, it, it, it does not matter. They t so, so people take stuff out on them. And so, naturally, she's going to be standoffish. And I, I'll, you know, I'm not going to discuss what, what our, our conversation will be when you leave. Well, you know what? It would have been, it would have been great to, to, for you to exhibit the 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 message that you bring at this window that would have been that was perfect timing for you to stand up and tell her you know what look you know if this would have looked great for you my conversation with you when you leave mm -hmm. uh, i will address this with her privately this is not something that i would address in front of you <laughs> or anyone else well this the thing lillian uh, well well lillian i i just i'm be perfectly honest with you i just find it hard to believe Coming from the director, because when I first brought it up, you you even admitted she wasn't unprofessional. When she was standing there, you said that. Now now that she's walked away, you're saying you're going to address something. I Come on now. Question. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you're pulling my leg. No, In a sense, you are. But I mean, well, you're not because I'm not allowing you to. So. Obviously, I can't make you happy. No matter what I say. Here. Make me happy? Yes. That's not about making me happy here. It's about doing the right thing, Lillian. Yeah, did the right thing. Really? Absolutely. You you did absolutely nothing though, but uphold what she did. Standing here and you're recording us. That's right. And our conversation. That's correct. When you leave, the way I address another situation is it would be it would be private, sir. I would much prefer to address every situation privately. Really? Yes, okay. Well, then you know what? This is what we'll do for her being unprofessional. Uh, let me get a complaint form. Then I man, we'll make it official that way. We'll make it official. To be honest with you, I don't have any preparedness. But if you'd like, I'll be happy to give you the email. And you're more than happy to email me. Well, I, I, I can wait around until you prep for one. That's okay. Actually, James, I won't do that. Why not? So you're not willing to give me a complaint form? Most people put their complaints in writing upon themselves. There's no specific complaint form. Oh, so you don't have them. I, think, I thought you had some. You just didn't have one prepped. No, sir. Okay, well, then I'll write it on a, um, a blank sheet of paper. That should suffice. Yeah, so Lillian here, uh, this is the director of the Cicero Housing Authority. Um, so 
it seems to me that she's not too honest. Thank you. Okay. And then how, and and who after the complaint and you give me a Xerox copy? How does that work in terms of? Um, because obviously you're going to receive it. You guys can stamp, receive, give me a Xerox copy. And then what, then what's, what goes on from there? What's the process? I will address it. After I fill it out, you can't tell me now? Well, every complaint should be handled differently, sir. Every complaint is Well, I'm talking about in terms of when I give it to you, who is it forwarded to? If, would you like me to forward it to HUD? I'll be happy to. Uh, Ma'am, I'm asking you guys this process. <laughs> My process would be if you're not happy with me, I'll give you housing and urban development information and you can address it with them that you are not happy. No, 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 no. They can go forward with it. Yeah, now what I'm trying, maybe you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. You're, you're, I don't want you to think I'm asking you um, to, for, for it to be my option on where the complaint go. I'm just asking you in terms of you, how do you protocol? What's the procedure in terms of complaints after the people fill them out and turn it into you? What do you do with it then? What do I do with it then? That's correct. I will address it. I mean, I, nothing I say will make you happy. <clears throat> you will address it? I'm just asking, where does the form go? Yes, like, who looks at it? Who looks at it? I will look at it. Oh, so you review the complaint? Absolutely. Oh, okay, so that, that was my point. So. Yes, trying to give you whatever information you, you're you asking for, who mm. addresses it with me. Right. Okay? And if you'd like it to go further, I'll, I'll be glad to give it to you, Housing and Urban Development, and you can go forward it with them. With HUD. I have no problem, so whatever you wish. Okay, so you know what, right, because I mean, it, it's not going to make sense if, if I fill out a complaint on that young lady, and then you're the one that's going to address the complaint. So I think that's going to be pointless because you already see no wrongdoing. So if, 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 if I will, I'll get HUD's information, and then we'll just go over you. Okay, what, what's their number? Okay, pre I'll, I'll wait around. So yeah, uh, Lillian, the director, uh, not too honest, man. Like I said, she, you know, she first came up, the young lady came out the, from the back back there, said, yeah, I see four reviews and one of them only has a response. Okay, four reviews, one has one. And my point was it has nothing to do with the waiting list. With Lillian, 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 was kind of uh, fishing for it. maybe the waiting list is the reason why, or you know, I, like I said, I've been called to come out here personally. So obviously, people has complaints. These housing authorities are rude to the to the people that's on these uh, Section Eight waiting lists and housing development programs. So uh, my thing was the way that she came out, and you know, when I asked her, oh, "What's your name, ma'am?" You know, why, why does it matter or something? She said, but it was it was just real funky, like. And here it is, a perfect opportunity for Lillian to correct it, which she's so safe that she would, and she didn't. She dropped the ball. So we just get HUD's information. Uh, we'll forward this video over to HUD. we we'll let them see uh, how the personnel was interacting with the public today. We'll go from there. But you guys stay and tuned. Complaints, right. And your name, again, is Lillian. I, I mean, it's cool. I can, if I, let me see if I can spell it. L-I-L-I-L-I-L-I-A-N? -L -I -L -L -I it is. All right. And the other young lady's name, the one that the complaint would be on? Prisma. Prisma? P-R-I-S-M-A. S-M-A. Her last name? Yeah. T-A-P-I-A. T-A-P-I-A. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So that's all I would need for now. Like I said, I'll get some more B-roll footage of everything and we good to go. All right. Well, like no, nah, I'll probably, you know what? I'll take the email just, Certainly. just because. Right okay. Okay. Because if you they're complaining, something is not right, then they should address it with me. Okay. And yet no one has. Oh. Okay. Well, I have. <laughs> yes, yeah. I will address that as well. Okay. However, but you didn't say that just 10 minutes ago, though, Lily. I mean, but it's cool. It's cool. You absolutely didn't. You said, I don't think she was unprofessional. That's what you said. I'm not going to let that bypass me. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Okay, let's go right ahead. All right, I'm letting you know. Okay. Uh, that's my personal. Okay, sir. All right, so it's, that's your email is lgutierrez yes, at thetownofcicero.com. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. 
All right. And what's the number? And what's the number to this location? Seven zero eight. Seven zero eight. Six five two. Zero three eight six. Zero three eight six. Okay. For sure. All right. All right me, I hope you all have the, have the same. All right. So, uh, yeah, TTA family. Uh, Lillian, I don't think she's too honest. Like I said, she had a uh, perfect opportunity to address the young lady that was kind of being being rude, you know. Uh, and she didn't. So, you know, even think about it. While she was standing there, she said, I don't think she did anything unprofessional. But yet, and still, you will address her unprofessionalism uh, when I leave. So, what, which one is it? Of course, she's standing there. You're trying to protect her feelings. As soon as she walked away, you're trying to protect mine. Nah, we, we, we don't, we don't, we're not going to go for that. So, what it is, TTA family. Y'all stay tuned. Yes. Make sure you don't delete that. What are you doing next to my vehicle? Make sure you don't Why delete you that. My, my how, how do I know that's your window? Why are you looking inside my car? Ma'am, can you make sure she don't delete this video? I'm going to FOIA request it. So if she deletes it, it's a felony. Just to make sure you guys know. Sir, no one has done anything to you. No, I said the video, ma'am. Well, I didn't accuse anybody she, of doing anything. She does not want to delete the video. She does not care. Oh, no, I'm just making sure she does not delete she it. She does not care. Okay. Well, we're, okay. we're, 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 we're okay. obviously so. She's out here with her camera phone well, on are, the clock. I, 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 <laughs> she does feel that you're invading. I mean, come on. We, what do you mean? I mean, I'm, do you, are you guys called the cops? I have no choice. Sir. Oh, wow. I have no choice. So you guys called someone that can possibly do harm to me for... No one would do harm. What, what, they have guns, don't they, man? They kill and shoot people all the time. We don't know that. I'm so, so why would you call someone if I'm not doing anything? Sure that my girls are protected, sir. How would they be unprotected? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Lillian? James, you can say whatever you like. And then, uh, keep it Officer Rowe? Give me a minute, sir. I, here, I mean, there's no side. There's nothing. I'm not doing anything illegal. You pulled up and you seen exactly what I was doing? That's exactly what she's going to tell you. I'm recording. Let me hear that. Okay. Only one was a comment. What is the situation? What is the problem? And he was just going off. So he's like, That's a lie. Outside. Wasn't going off. Wanna, like, I'm just saying, she, this is her director here. She's lying, sir. Yeah. Well, I don't, don't want to be lied to. I can't. Anyways, you said I was going off. That's a complete lie. <laughs> okay. okay. So then he asked something about if our employee cars were outside, right? Yes. So then he came out here and he's going like this inside my car, like this. That's also a lie. I wasn't touching her vehicle, but go ahead. He was just like that. Okay. Like you said, I have it on via, I have it on so camera. So. Say, you know, he saw me when I came in here in my car. Okay. Okay, so I just don't feel safe. Okay. Uh, now, okay, you now is it my turn? This is her boss. Uh, well, that's what she said exactly. I did tell him about the the Google reviews. I said it was a couple of complaints. That's why I was called out here to investigate. Okay, she did come and say that it was uh, one comment, like she just told you. However, it had nothing to do with the waiting list, which this the supervisor indicated. She was speculating. Bypass all that. My whole thing for being here today is to exercise my First Amendment right to record in public. Um, she was kind of nasty from the beginning. She came up all aggressive. We tried to address it with the director. She wasn't interested. However, when I did leave out here, I am going to document every car in the parking lot because, again, I have a right to do it. She came out. She's filming me with her personal phone. So now I got to go in and file a FOIA request for that video. So I still have official business here. That's the problem. Is this your supervisor that's pulling up? No. Oh, okay. Just a regular patrol. What's your name and badge number, officer? 217. Appreciate that. Um, and you, officer, what's your name and badge number? Appreciate that. So, 
I'm a, they called you out here for a waste of resources. Obviously, I'm going to go over there and get the 911 call because the stuff that she's conveying to you are just straight up lies. Especially be talking about touching her car. Uh, I just went off. You know, that sounds like I'm being combative. And you guys can come, you know, if you call on the police telling you guys that, 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 that heightens everything. So, uh, I don't think I came in hiding at all. Well, well, it depends on how she conveyed everything over to the dispatch. Because if she did it the same way she just did it in front of me, Absolutely, then sir, that is heightened. She did not call. You did. Absolutely not. Well, whoever called. The other department called because they felt that you were a threat. How, how, a threat your, from what? Your demeanor. Uh, my demeanor. <laughs> my calm demeanor. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is your body cam on, sir? My body cam is on. Okay, I just want to make sure because I'm going to go over. Okay, go ahead. If you're going to go in there and talk to them, right? I will. Okay. Uh, is there anything else they can do for you here? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, I got to file a FOIA request. I'm going to be here a while. Okay, I don't think you file that here with uh, this office. Yes, for sure, I can. Any public? Yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely. I can file it here. What, and what information are you trying to get? Uh, just general information. I document it, put it down, and turn it in to them. And it'll be on them to turn it into whomever they need to turn it into. All I do is fill it out on the sheet and give it back to them. Yeah, I don't think they, they do okay. Yeah, they do. They um, do. They do. Outside of the four year old is there anything else they need here? No, I mean, no, that'll be it. I actually didn't even need one until I seen her take a picture of me. So uh, now that she's taking a picture of me, a picture of me, now, you know, that's additional things that I would need. But. Uh, after I filed a FOIA, I get, like I said, more footage of the parking lot's vehicles, and then I book on out, you know. Okay, so what's the difference in her taking a picture of you as opposed to you taking a picture of her? Well, she's, she's she worked for the public, right? Okay. She's not even supposed to be using her personal phone, taking pictures of anything while she's on the clock. I mean, I can guarantee that that's the policy here. And um, and this, and I'll be honest with you, if she, if she still has a choice to do so, I'm not saying... You're wrong for doing it. I just don't want her to delete it because then it becomes a crime for her destroying a public record. So I tried to give her the ups on that. So if she goes in and delete it right now, yeah, that'd be on her. You know, so. Can you go around the city, the state? Country, I'll just go around wherever, you know, wherever's necessary, wherever I'm uh, requested to go to. Like I said, I've been requested to come out here. This is definitely a request. Um, and I see the personnel here is definitely how it's been conveyed to me. Very unprofessional. So. I, this is it, you know. I go all over though. Yeah, ask your question for sure. What was your initial here? The investigation to investigate the personnel. To investigate the personnel. That's correct. Just to see if everything was going to be, if the, basically, if the personnel was going to be forthcoming and uh, professional and stuff like that, and uh, they have not been. So, you know, that was it. And then I left. Like I said, I started coming to document the. The vehicles, I uh, went to this one first, you know, I'm just walking around like I do anywhere else. It's, you know, it's in public, you know, I can record whatever I can see. And she came out real aggressive with her phone and they called you guys. <laughs> this is crazy, man. You get, so. Uh, I don't, you know what? I don't, I mean, I can, I can hear and. I can hear where someone may be coming from, but in terms of, uh, you work for the public, right? Just like you, you're a police officer. So if I start recording inside your car, you shouldn't feel uncomfortable. You you serve the public every day. Now, only way you would probably feel uncomfortable is if you have some illegals or something of some sort, because, no, yeah. Huh? I would disagree. You disagree with that? Disagree. Okay, well, well, you disagree and keep it classy, it's okay. But I, I, I just think that you got something to hide. Just like if I'm coming into your office here, people say that's uncomfortable. To be filmed. Why would it be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? We're having no interaction at all, and I just pop up and I start recording. That'd be uncomfortable to you. 100%. Really? Yeah. I, wow. Even, even though you're on camera all day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So why would you be uncomfortable, officer? That don't make sense. <laughs> I'm sitting in my car, minding my business. Right. Start recording me inside my uh, police car. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the first one for me. I don't know why a cop, especially a cop, will be uncomfortable if somebody starts walking up recording. That's crazy, man. I'm a human, nonetheless. But, just, but I'm just saying. And, you, and this is my personal space inside the vehicle. Well. Right? Not not necessarily. It, it's, it's a public's vehicle, first of all. I'm not saying it's my personal space. Oh, okay. Well, okay. It's my personal space inside the vehicle. Okay. And I'm, I'm minding my business. I have, I, I'm not assigned to call. Right. 
I'm just sitting in some of my car and you start doing that's percent You'll be you'll be extremely uncomfortable right then and there. Oh wow, I wouldn't be. I definitely wouldn't be. I'll be back in and shortly. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna file it in person while I'm here. I'd rather do it in person. There you go. Well, you want proof. Uh, what do you mean? Proof of what? You want proof that I'm, you, you want proof that you requested it. Because yeah, I'm, you, I'm going to get proof. I'm going to have proof because you're going to Xerox copy it to me. I'm not going to do that to you. Okay, well, it'll be on camera that I still found one. That is proof. This this video will never lie. I want to make sure that you, if you do it the proper way so that I can copy the attorney. Well, the proper way is for me to do it in person. <laughs> okay, James, however you wish. Sir. Okay. Okay, yeah. have a good day. Yeah, you too. Well, I'll be in shortly, though. But, uh, yeah, officer, so what was... Uh, what? Hey, that's what you're going to do? Like go ahead and head in, do your foyer? I'm definitely going to. Okay. But I'm just okay. saying, what was... I mean, so you don't want to talk to me about what the conversation you guys just had sidebar? Conversation between me and her, conversation between But it's about me, sir. Now, you, now you're not being forthcoming. It's about our staff, and that's for you. Right. Now you're not even being forthcoming. Well, I, it don't matter. What... Well, obviously, because the conversation is about me. If I had a conversation about her, you'll go tell her. James, oh, man, he a tyrant, man. James, okay. <laughs> he a tyrant, man. James, Scram, man. Okay. You can, I mean, hey, Officer James, Rowe, what? James, come on now. Come on now, what? Come on now, what? I'm being respectful. All I'm being respectful as well. Okay, well, you see how you're speaking to him? That's right, because I can. James, you, you know my girls get out of that vehicle. How do I know that for sure, and how do you know I know that for sure? Okay. How's it? More speculation. <laughs> exactly. No problem. I'm not here to fight with Lillian, you. Lillian. Yes. I'm respectfully, here. get back to work. Just yes. go back to work. You know what Exit James? stage I left will. and go back to work. I will. You okay. Stay, sir. That, that okay. a girl. Right. That Thank a girl. You. But I would appreciate it if you, you know, if you're, if you're done here. If I'm not done. Okay. Well, I'm not you're done. Gonna come back in and That's request, correct. Right? That's correct. Okay. If you'd like to follow me, we will go. I don't back have to follow you right now. I'm still talking to these officers. Well, this officer, because this one is a tyrant. No. We're done. We okay, well then, okay, we'll catch, catch up with your crowd then. If you're done, you should catch up with your crowd. Have a good well, day. We are real When? You just said you was done. So if you're done, you should catch up with your crowd. We don't, we don't have to. Gentlemen, officers, you, 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 you should, though. James is not here, James is not here to do uh, anything other than, than be combative. Okay. James does not want to resolve anything because I've tried everything to do. Whatever You're supposed to be getting back to your desk, Lillian. Answer, the, you're you're interrupting the conversation that me and Officer Rowe was having. Right. Officer Rowe, nothing <laughs> will satisfy you. I've tried everything. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. She get back to work. Yes, sir. My thing is, I'm running, right in. me and you having a dialogue, peaceful dialogue. I'm asking this officer, what was what was the conversation? What did she say? What did she allege? He does not want to disclose it, but the conversation is about me. Right. I mean, honestly, a huge difference. Didn't take any action on that, right? Well, we—he's on the phone right now, so maybe that's the action he's taking. He didn't take any action. <laughs> well, it don't matter. I'm gonna go to you guys' police department when I leave here. I'm a, I'm a file a FOIA for the for that body count footage, and we're gonna see precisely what he was saying and she was saying. I just think that he should have been more forthcoming and honest and just told me. I mean, he's a he's a public a public worker himself as well, just like she is. You serve the public, so serve it. <laughs> no action taken on it. So what difference does it make if you know it or not? Right? People can say bad things about you all day, but That's what difference correct. does it make? Well, if they're saying, if, they, if they're sitting up there, my, my point is this, if they're telling you lies about me, though, right? That that's a, that, that's very concerning, and sir. You did nothing about it. There was no action taken. Well, because she can lie all day. And, but I'm saying, if, what, we act what, if I want to know about it regardless, why not just tell me? Because As a servant. You're a servant. Right. Serve the public, sir. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's it. Uh, you too. This guy right here, tyrant though, man. Straight up tyrant, man. This this is this is why we this is what we like to expose, man. The tyrants. This guy, man. This guy. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even want to tell me. That's like when we book on out, we're gonna book on out and go to the Cicero Police Department. And we're just going to go get the foyer and go get the body cam footage since he ain't want to tell us. We got to do that. It's, just, it's goofy, man. So now we're going to go back in here, TTA family, and uh, 
gonna go ahead and file out for you, man. Lily and she, she all over the place, man. You know, the gloves are off. Once they come in, they starting lies. They, they, they trying to infringe, man. The gloves will come off, man. I remain, I remain professional. There go another one. Wow. You know, I remain professional, man, to a degree. You know what I mean? But, you know, once you get to coming out, man, you think you're going to turn up on me, I'm going to turn up right back, man. I don't care who you is. We can always disagree and keep it classy. Other than that, hey, the gloves come off. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get our foyer started, and we'll go from there. Y'all stay tuned, TTA family. Talking about foyer right now, if you can hear them. Ah, you're good at fighting, huh? I, I, I can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, I just need to file a foyer. All right, sir. Right, so I did hear that you say you're the foyer officer. Oh, you, you got a, a many hats, huh? Oh, I see. Foyer supervisor, manager. Uh, Tyrant, <laughs> everything, all the above. Okay. Sir, James. I'm being perfectly honest with you. I mean, <laughs> you know, the gloves are off. Okay. I'll let you put writing your request. Though. For sure. I'm definitely going to. Thank you so much. Hello? Hi. Her name was Prima. Uh, I'm waiting for this man to finish filming me. She said, This man. See how she addressed me, TTA family? This man. <laughs> oh wow! How are you? It's okay. Gloves are all off, so let the games begin. <laughs> all right, TTA family, y'all stay tuned, man. Let me fill out this for you. Request this young lady the picture and video that she took of me. Obviously, it was a video. She kept it up there, so we'll just put photo slash video. That way, we cover all angles. And uh, Lillian has went to the back, so. Uh, y'all stay tuned. I don't have a, I don't, I don't use email. I, that, that number. But how am I to send you the video? Well, I'll be picking it up in person. So that way you call me when it's ready. There's not going to be a video, sir. I will email you a video footage or, or send it to you. Oh, well, you, I mean, like however you need to get it to me, I can still put the, I can still pick it up in person. Certainly, sir. Would you like me? Okay, well, here. Um, Okay, within today's date is the 26th. That's correct. Okay, we have 10 business days to address a FOIA. Well, y'all have five. Uh -huh. The state law is five. I I'll look to it, sir. Okay. I'll, I'll copy my attorney on it. So okay. Would you, would you like me to send it to your phone? How do you want me to do No, I want to, this is exactly what I want you to you do. You just print it out page by page? No, this is what I want you to do. Okay. When you, when you receive the materials from that young lady's phone, mm -hmm. I want you to call that number I just wrote down. Yes. Tell me that it's ready. And then I'll be in to pick it up at this location. Okay. Today is the twenty-sixth. That's correct. You stated the state law is ten. However, no, no, you said ten. I said five. You said five. That's correct. Okay. All right. I'll review it, sir, because my understanding is that I'm required by law to follow my administrative plan. Which is ten business days. Oh, I don't know. Somebody mis somebody misinformed you. That's okay. If you just go back and look at the law, you'll see that it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Sir. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll address it with the attorney, and then we'll go through it from there. Okay. okay. And that way, so James states five days. Well, no, I don't state it. I just say because that's the law. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not my rule. Yeah. Oh. The law. There you go. And then when I speak with my attorney on what I'm required, I will contact you, okay? And let me know exactly. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Definitely going to get in contact with her, though, man. This is, you guys are very unprofessional today. You, you, Lillian, for sure was. Being a director, you were, you were unprofessional as well. Um, I'm you know. starting to feel that way. Um, well, <laughs> it's a difference between feeling and seeing something. Okay, well, so. I mean, that's your that's that's how you feel. <laughs> you stated to me you need to get back in there and get back to work. That's absolutely correct. You did. You did. And because you were done talking to the cops. I don't even see why you tried to come and engage while I was talking to them. That was, you know, well, you know. I, see, I, I have the right to speak with the officers as well. Yeah, and you did. So after you spoke to them, you should have gotten back to work. So you should tell me okay. Me, why not? Because. Don't you work for us, though? Excuse me. While I'm out there with the officers, 
See, that's just it. That's the problem with you guys. You guys work for the public and you think that you guys think that y'all can just step on the public when we the one pay you guys a salary. I'm not stepping on you, sir. It's all good. I'm going to definitely follow up with HUD. I'm definitely going to put a complaint on both of you guys, okay. especially that young lady. She's unhinged. Okay. So, so uh, we, we'll go from there. And again, and still, I'm going to document the rest of these cars in the parking lot and then I'll leave. Hopefully I can do it unmolested. Well, they, you, you guys just did, so that's not entirely true. After what you've done, sir, we have to, we have to address your, your demeanor toward us as well. My demeanor's been calm and cool. So so, so so why would my demeanor need to be addressed if it's calm and cool? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Crickets. <laughs> that's exactly my point. So, yeah, man, TTA family, y'all see how this is going, man. Police is just leaving. I guess they're hanging around, but... Yeah, you know, so she come out here, you're at my car, you're at my car. I went to I went to this Malibu first. You know what I mean? I was getting ready to document every car in the bill, uh, in, in the parking lot. Just like I'm going to do now. I'm going to get the footage, we get the rest of the footage of these cars that's in the parking lot. No one's going to stop me. Oh, they oh, 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 still hanging around. They're trying to be slick. They trying to be slick, TTA family. <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh my God. What's up, man? So, uh, yeah, you know, so that's how that cookie crumbled, I guess. But yeah, we're going to get the rest of these cars right quick, like I was doing. And we better ready to book on now. Y'all stay tuned, TTA fam. Are you trying to wait for me to leave? I see you got. I see you trying to, you got, you still got my FOIA request in your hand. And well, because, you know, I'm waiting to find out if the attorney wants your ID, because in order to process a, a FOIA, I, I want to verify the process. Okay, so why, I mean, I'm just asking, it seems like you're trying to wait for me well, to my leave. my staff are very, they, you know. I might hang out all day if I'm going to keep I being harassed. Want, no, sir, nobody's harassing me. Well, I'm just you saying, yeah, what, I'm well, it seems that way. It kind of feels that way. I mean, it yeah, seems like I you're trying to wait to see what car I'm going to get in so you can oh, jot down my license plate. I really don't uh, care about your plate oh, okay. Less, okay, just I making don't. sure. No, sir, I mean. Because that wouldn't, may, that wouldn't matter any, especially if I'm in, like driving my mom's car or something. But go ahead. What you just going to say? No, I'm actually not. I tried to be real professional in the beginning, but you guys turned the tables now. So we're going to turn up a little bit, but. I don't mind, sir. I'm just, you know, I'm just standing here. Okay, well. I need to take a breath because, you know, after this situation, now my girls feel threatened. They feel threatened. Wow. They feel threatened. That's that's incredible that they feel threatened because no one even threatened them. I wonder what makes them feel threatened. Uh, my behavior makes them feel threatening. Well, I'm very concerned because wow. You know, and you know why, sir? You're, you're, you're not. I know you're, why. You're being combative. I don't want to speculate why. You know what, sir? I don't want to speculate. <laughs> you man, I, I have a I good don't idea want to why. Sir, I really don't. <laughs> you know. All right, sir. All right. Well, you have a great day. James, have a good day. You too. Okay. Thank you. All right, TTA family, man. We gonna book on out of here, man. I just seen. One of the police officers pull off. Yeah, there he goes. There, if you guys can catch a glimpse of him. Let's we'll see if there's other guys back here still. Uh, look like he might have left as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to book on out, man. My thing was, and we still finna go over, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that, because we finna go find Cicero Police Department, and we gonna go file those FOIAs to see if we can get that officer's body cam footage real quick, just to see what he was saying. That was so stupid, he could've just told me, but he wanted to be a tyrant, so <clears throat> skip him. But, uh, yeah, like you say, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, talking about my demeanor, she's talking about my demeanor and all this, that, and the third. Man, stop it, man, my demeanor's been cool. Once I see y'all trying to take the gloves off, I'm gonna take my gloves off. So it is what it is, but y'all stay tuned, man. We're on our way to the Cicero Police Department, file his FOIA for these body, body cams, and we should be good to go. Y'all stay tuned. All right, TTA family. So we over here, man, Cicero Police Department. Like I said, we're going to go in here and get the body cam footage just to see what dude and Lillian was talking about sidebar. Pulled her to the side. He acted like he didn't want to tell me, man. It's stupid, man, but... 
It's all good. Go ahead and request this footage right quick. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, I need a uh, file a FOIA request. Okay, you're going to have to go to the records department, sir. Records department? Around the corner? Yes, sir. All right, appreciate it. Go down here to records. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, TTA family. Yes, I need to file a FOIA request. Because the young lady in the front right there coming in, she told me I had to do it here at records. No, you got to go to the legal department on the other side, second floor. Second floor, okay. All the way to the end, legal department asks for a FOIA. All right, appreciate it. She, she, she acted, her right there acted like she was getting irritated that she had to explain it again. I mean, man, these people out here in Cicero, man, I think I'm going to come back out here. I think I'm going to come back out here. Y'all stay tuned, TTA family. We're going to the second floor, legal department. See what they say. Hello. Hi, no. no. Actually, I need to file a FOIA. Oh, okay. Uh, the FOIA officer? Yes. He or she is here? Yes. Oh, okay. is that her? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, the FOIA? And then you guys will accept it and give me a Xerox copy. Okay, y'all fill it out real quick and then I'll turn it back in. All right. All right, TTA family, y'all stay tuned, man. We fill this out right here and we'll be good to go. You have to be more specific. You have to give us when, a date of when. Uh, it is a date on there. Where? Is, is, is the date is at the top. No, you have to put it here. No, I don't. No, I don't. I just had to. I just had to fill it out and say above date. I don't have to. I don't have to put it there. You have to be specific. I, I. That is specific. <laughs> Dang, Cicero boy, wow. She's telling me I have to be specific, and I ask, and I actually am specific. <laughs> but uh, what is this? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I think, I, I think, I, I think I'm going to hang out in Cicero, man, for, 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 for a few days, man. Oh, my goodness. These public servants, man. This is, I'll stay tuned, TTA family. Wow. I'm going to have the boy officer come down and explain it to you. I just don't want you to get rejected. That's all. I'm following the instructions. Listen to what I'm talking uh, okay, about. Okay. Are you going to allow me to speak as well? Right. I okay. Will. I will, but you're already going to start speaking. No, I'm just you. making sure you're going to listen to me and not walk away. I am. Okay. So I'm trying to explain why I'm telling you. I'm okay. I'm not giving you attitude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Okay, go These ahead. These are my instructions. Okay. So I don't want this form to be rejected, and then you get a call and someone tells you. So these are the instructions I'm given that you have to be specific on this line. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. I'm going to have her come down so then that way she can explain it to you. And then that way it doesn't get rejected. That's all I'm trying to do. For you. Okay, now. I was yeah, about to, right. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is there's no uh, right or wrong way to fill out a FOIA. A form is not even really required. Um, and there's no, there's like no laws or anything saying where certain words should be on the form. If you look at my last, the last line, I said I need the body cam footages of those two officers that were dispatched to the housing authority on the above date. The above date is right at the top. So that is specific. Okay, I'll have her come on. Okay. Thank you. So, <clears throat> um, we'll see. I guess we could call the FOIA officer down, man. This is all unnecessary. All she had to do was just accept the form, stamp, copy it, and we, we would have been good to go, man. But uh, I guess this is what this is the... This is the state of mind that Cicero, Illinois is in, man. These public service, my goodness alive. Y'all stay tuned. Are you in fact the FOIA officer? Okay, what I was trying to explain to that young lady is there's no uh, right or wrong way to fill out a FOIA. Okay. Uh, the, the materials that I'm requesting are body cam footages of two officers that were just dispatched to the housing authority out here in Cicero. 
Uh, the date is on there when they was dispatched is at the top of the sheet. Okay. And I'll, all I need from you guys to do is just uh, stamp copy it and, and Xerox and give me a copy and that we'd be good to go. A stamped copy. Of that, is, that it's received. Oh, yeah, sure. And then if I have to get in touch with you. My number's there as well. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to leave your name? No, no, no. What's the twenty-six? Yep. And in, in her defense, she's not the FOIA officer, so she, she's just here to... I understand. I understand. Her. She was just misinformed as well. If you, if, you know, it'd be great if you can just educate her on there. There's no right or wrong way to kind of fill out a FOIA. Okay. But she says she, that was the instructions that was given to her. Okay. So. Okay. Well, we're all doing our best. I understand. I understand. It's just she had. She kind of had an attitude a little bit. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Ah, that's what they all say. <laughs> uh, she says she's the friendliest staff that they have here. Uh, I don't believe that to be true. You know, she tried to pipe it down a little bit, but she was kind of seeing like she was irritated. So it's all good, though. All righty. Appreciate it. And it's five business days, right? For, for sure. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, TTA family. So we're going to book on up out of here. We'll be good to go. All right, TTA family. We're just getting up out of there. Filed our foyer. Go get the body cam footage of those two cops just to see. But, you know, I mean, from the beginning, man, you know, uh, Lillian, man, I, I think she was putting on putting on a show, putting on a front. She definitely was front. We called her out on it right then and there. She said, you know, oh, man, I haven't had any complaints. And if I would have got some complaints, I definitely would have been the one to address it. I have no problem with addressing it. And then here comes a young lady walking up right next to Lillian, being unprofessional, in my opinion. A lot of other people might not feel like she was un uh, pr unprofessional. I definitely think the first time I asked her for her name and she got all kind of, you know, uh, combative about it. Like, well, why would you need that? And I think that's very unprofessional. Give your name. We're for the public. Uh, but I mean, that was a perfect opportunity for Lillian to kind of, you know, try to de-escalate the situation. And she wasn't interested in doing so. Matter of fact, when that young lady that walked up and was being a being being a professional right there see Lillian when she was standing with Lillian you guys got to go back and you got to go back and pay attention to this Lillian said I don't think she was unprofessional when the, when the young lady was standing next to her I don't think what she did was unprofessional but then she kind of when she walked away she said well I'll address that so you will address what if you know it's nothing to address if she didn't do anything wrong but that obviously you was trying to make sure her feelings was okay and you was trying to accommodate minds uh, if needed be right then and there. So that was phony and unprofessional of Lillian. Uh, then she's talking about the, the Google reviews. There's us four on there and there's only one that had a comment. Why didn't you address that comment? I, it don't matter if I'm using plural or not. We just still consider reviews if it's one or not. It's four on there with one comment, right? And that one comment was talking about how rude you guys were. You guys got a 2.0 rating on Google reviews. That's terrible. It speaks volumes. <laughs> so, you know, and then even here at this building, the lady in the back kind of seemed like she got an ad, ad, like she was agitated. That I was asking exactly where to go. So, I mean, it just seemed like Cicero, Illinois, public servants are very, um, very like unprofessional and, and they feel entitled maybe and just a, a whole host of things. But it's all good because we're going to get them together. I think I'm I think I'm going to come back out here. This is definitely a request. I think I'm going to come back out here. We're going to stick around out here for a little bit out in Cicero, man. But for everybody that's been tuned into the channel, man, I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscription button. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff coming up. We got more cash giveaways. And again, shout out to the five winners that just won their cash on our Sunday live, man. Congratulations to you guys again. We're gonna get ready to set it up again. I'm getting ready to set up another one. Just trying to prep for it to see how I'm gonna do it. You know, I wanna do it a little bit different. But uh, I love you guys wholeheartedly, man. And I appreciate you guys for all the super thanks, the super chats, and the super stickers, man. Y'all is the fuel to this, man. Y'all the fuel to what's keeping me going. So until the next time, y'all stay tuned with me.